Anybody who has a child knows what a nightmare their hair can be, and this Halloween, things can get really scary. So luckily, you will know exactly what to do if it does. Michelle Lozier and Marty Shaw are from Great Clips, and they are here to show us how to get out of a sticky situation. So ladies, we're going to start with Allie's hair here. There's gum in her hair. Yes. Oh my goodness, what do parents do if that happens? There is gum in her hair. Well, the old trick is peanut butter. Um, you can use peanut butter or olive oil, and the oils will break down um, the stickiness in the gum. How itself. much do you use? Like, you mean just, just lob keep it on doing there, it and it really yep. will work. And just mm -hmm. kind of work it in, and it really will work. And then we also have um, a mousse, too. Mm -hmm. um, this is from a lice control kit, actually, because the nits and lice are very sticky. So it works really well. See? Ellie has some gum in her hair, and you just squirt it on. Simple. Okay. I'll that to you. Thank you. Rub it in. They have a comb right so here. So it's chemical free. So it's that chemical it, free. It, it's it, all natural ingredients. Um, I think, it, and then it should just comb right out. Or oh, there you go. Very good. And now so you it's don't chemical have any free, more. and you don't have any residue or anything in it. And the peanut butter and the olive oil oh, work. Good. About the same way. Um, it just takes a little longer to kind of like work them in, and then of course you want to wash it out after. Right. But a lot of kids have nut allergies too, so it depends. Unless you want to smell like peanut butter and olive oil, right? Yeah. Unless <laughs> that goes with your costume, or you want to do that. All right. So that's a really easy way, and you just use a comb and keep keep using that until it comes out. Mm -hmm. What about snarls and tangles? And if you're Son or daughter's hair is kind of like a rat's nest. Well, this time of the year, especially, like you're using a lot of the hairsprays that have the color in it to adjust the kids up. And at night, you know, you want to wash it out definitely. And we have a really great product at Great Clips, which is a washout shampoo. It's actually a really nice clarifying shampoo that gets all the product out of the hair, especially made to get product residue out of your hair. And then in the morning, when they're, you know, they wake up, and I know my daughter does it a lot, she has a whole bunch of knots in her hair. We use the Kids Free Detangling Shampoo. It's all natural, spray it in. And even those knots, take a little bit of a, a shine serum, put a little bit in, rub it on the snarl, and then comb it out, and it comes out nice and A easily. shine serum, okay, yes. and that'll make it nice and slippery, right? Mm -hmm. That's exactly. what you want. All right, now, we have touched on her hair. What about if maybe your son cuts his own hair, or takes scissors, or, you know, cuts, a, or something happens, and you get something stuck in their hair? What do you do? Well, the main thing everybody is like, okay, they got something stuck in the hair, let's cut it out right away. Yeah. Instead of doing that, you can come see us over at Great Clips, and we can either give them a nice style and shorten it up, instead of just buzzing all their hair off right away, because that's mm -hmm. usually what people do, is just freak out. And cut it. Right, and cut, cut it. it out. And, and Sally had an incident with uh, a remote car and the wheels getting stuck, so what we just did was we just gave her some nice little wispy bangs, and it blends right into her hair and frames her face, and... She looks fine. And it looks great. And now parents know how to get that gum and that sticky candy out of there if it happens, but let's hope it doesn't. Thank you so hopefully much, not. everybody. And if a guy has a beard, maybe he'll get some gum stuck in his beard, but hopefully not, Seth.